11 days till we take the AP exam. <laughs> Wait. So, what I thought we would do would be this. Number one, I want you to dig in your notes. This may take a while. I want you to find your compiled list of your arguable topic connections. See if you can find them. They will be your friend today and leading up to the exam. Are you good? Yeah. Yes. All right. And if you have it on your iPad, that's fine. What I want you to do is I want you to bring those with you. We're going to kind of create a little like a half U here because we're going to need to go quickly through these and also because our brains need to move quickly for the exam. That's why I'm saying that. And also we do have time to stretch for today. So come up here, get in a half U, and let's make this happen. Whatever you want to get. All right. The idea behind this is that I'm going to show you some aphorisms, some pretty common sayings that could possibly be on the AP Lang exam in 11 days. Aphorism is a common expression. So, whenever I show this, I want you to, number one, if you need to, you're definitely refer to your paper that we've been building for two years now. If there's anything you think that you could use to argue this expression, I want to hear it. And if not, if there's nothing from what you've read, start pinging in your brain because this is about how the exam's going to work. You're going to have to move pretty quick to decide what it is that you need to get prepared for your brain to get ready to write. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. How do we want to do this? Just say it as we see it? Are you guys okay with that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. That's how the exam's set up, so I just want to put that out there for you as well. Material. Because if you say one thing, you do another, the, the acts of material to say more than your principal. Okay, good job. What else do you guys have? Love, like romance, like romantic actions, of course, mm -hmm. usually are a lot better than mine. <laughs> 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 like that. Like that. <laughs> How about one of you guys mentioned betrayal and love? Can you think of a specific example you could use to follow that? Are you thinking of like something specific we've read? Like 1984? Okay. So 1984, that could fit in here. Do you guys agree? Yeah. Okay. Maybe a tiger. Frankenstein. Okay. 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 Are you ready? We're gonna find our next common expression. All right. Give me something specific. So we could definitely argue loyalty. Can you think of something specific? <laughs> I think the Barbie Three Musketeers movie where they were like have a sword on the horses. Because like, yeah. what are we yes. commonly hear this? What is the Three Musketeers. Musketeers. The Barbie yeah. Three Musketeers movie. All right, what else can we pull though to add in here? Oh, this oh. sense of friendship. It's just like a topic. Okay, yeah. you could put underneath the topic of friendship. Leadership. Leadership. Mm -hmm. Can you pull me an example of something specific you can use to back that up? Hmm. Oh, okay, we have the idea of animal farm over here. Could we make that work? Oh, I like that. Okay, good job. I like that. All right, we're ready? Benjamin Franklin. All right, how would you how would you argue this if this is your prompt? This is just could be that prompt three, that argument of prompt where you had something pretty vague, it's expression you've heard before, it's like ready said argue. What could you pull to to argue and defend? Who moved my cheese? Who moved my cheese? Oh, oh. 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 come on. <laughs> what else can we use? Any other ones you can think of? Mm. Mm. Topic American Dream. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. nice. Yes, but I like it. Mm. <laughs> okay. Any other ones? <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is part of the work. You can feel that one. Ooh. It's like just the Bible. I'm also thinking <laughs> Chanel. Yeah, 